Liv and the PGA Tours Memorandum of Understanding got, uh, <laughs> got put out there, and the Athletic got it. Nice. You'd think this memorandum, this contract, I guess, that was signed by both parties. I mean, again, this is totally, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds here because it is a legal document. It is a, I imagine, binding document. And the reason why apparently it's out there is it was filed with the United States Senate, which is going to have a hearing on this matter in a couple of weeks in July. And um, so it's there in black and white. I don't know. When you hear it six pages, it sounds a little light. Yeah. You know, don't you think like, you know, the Live Tour and the PGA Tour come together and you're dropping lawsuits? I guess with prejudice, which means if this is, or is it without prejudice? I shouldn't wade in these waters without knowing completely. Without, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning if it falls apart, you can't refile your lawsuits. Right. So, I don't know. When I first heard it, as you know, <laughs> it's, it's, hold on a second. Wild, I'll, I'll give what appears to maybe a mea culpa is in order here. I don't know, because when this first came out, I'm like, the li- the live tour is absolutely going to stay put, and the Saudis bought golf. That's what they did. When when you hear that there is a new right. financial mechanism or construct for the PGA Tour, and what was referred to in this document as NUCO, the new company, that when the lead and only exclusive investor in this organization and this lead and exclusive investor in this organization also controls who else is able to invest in the organization that sounds like ownership to me (laughs) but there's a board for this new company and there's four people on it and jay monahan's one and two other pga tour individuals are the other two and the fourth is the head of the PIF. Um, Yasser. Yasser, who... Al, Al- Rumiyan. Yes, who is the... You know, his excellency, as he's referred to, from the Saudi he's royal very, government. Very powerful man. But this document essentially says what the Saudis have bought for this relationship a seat at the table for the new PGA Tour construct. What they have bought is the naming rights to a couple of tournaments <laughs> and a seat at the table. Yeah, Yasser's going to be that's, on the advisory board. That's about it. That's like louder milk from the program. Now, there's also a communication committee that is amorphous that we mm. don't know. That's that's the committee that's going to commu- help communicate between the Live Tour and the PGA Tour to bring everyone together by 2024. And there's also a very amorphous and non-detailed line or two about what players who are reapplying yeah. – for tour membership who lost it by going to live, what they must go through, or there's nothing concrete about it. There weren't there weren't many details in the in in the statement. Right. And the live tour, whether it lives or dies, is according to this document in the hands of Jay Monahan. Who's now the CEO of the Correct. this new company. The chairman, however, is his excellency. Yes. So <laughs> according to this document. Yeah, it's gonna be it's 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 wild. So um, um it, to me, I I don't know. Did the Saudis not buy golf? As I was saying, since they're the ones who are the lead investors, the exclusive investors, the only investors who can control who else invests, and they coughed up live to the PGA Tour and dropped their lawsuits. Yeah, they're going to look at the future of possibly the team element, whether that can be used you, in the tour right. or whether it's still viable as live as a separate entity, which doesn't seem likely. Well, I mean, it's not worth a damn. It, I, that's it, the other it thing, doesn't too. Turn is, a that, profit. is that need, need, yeah. you're right. Doesn't make any money. Neither 
organizations have been valued yet, which is another crucial aspect of it because the valuation of these entities is going to eventually, when you plug it in, turn the crank of this (laughs) formula, spit out the amount of money that the public investment fund of Saudi Arabia is going to invest and put up as the seed money. It's expected, according to the Athletic article, to be somewhere between 2 to $3 billion, which is what caused the PGA Tour saying, okay, so you give us 2 to $3 billion, and we are no longer competing with you. You're not going to be a drain on our resources right. we'll for purses and, and sponsorships yeah. and our lawsuits, and you will give us the control of live. All you want is a seat at the table, and you name a couple of tournaments. And um, those might not even be on the PGA Tour. It could be on the DP Tour, you know, where yeah, where your name is kind of like, you know, people don't bat an eyelash over in Europe if it's something Saudi that's on the on on the on the tournament name. Maybe that's what we do, and then that's it. Like, really, really. So many. If unknowns. that's the case, if this is the case, and Kevin Van Valkenburg of No Laying Up, formerly of ESPN, is about to tell us that if this is in fact the case, and this gets through auditors and gets through regulation and and gets through approval and gets through the United States Senate, then what a major coup this is. Yep. For golf, with the exception of, you know, sports washing. There's that aspect of it too, because also important. What happens the next time something happens geopolitically involving Saudi Arabia that runs, shall we say, counter to the interests of the United States or human rights. What happens then? So this is the way this document lays it out. I find it hard to believe, unless the Saudis did not want His Royal Highness to be in any way, shape, or form put under oath, or anybody else in the royal family under oath, and all they want is we just want to seat at the table as they go for maybe purchasing other tours, other places. You're reading about the ATP and tennis potentially being next for PIF to go knock on their door. Oh, and then what about the NBA, NHL, wow. NFL? It's coming. They're already everywhere. Formula One. Just trying really. to read this fine print here because, again, when I first hear – we're the only investors. We're the only people who will understand or be able to tell you who else invests. It's our money. Right. It's your tour. It's our money. Well, what eventually talks? The tour or money? Money. Because clearly, money is what brought these two parties to finally to get together. And the fact that nobody wanted apparently a lawsuit and to be deposed. It just goes to show how much was unknown and unexplained when this was first announced. Which is kind of crazy because this document was signed a week before the announcement. (laughs) You'd think you'd be able to get a duck or two in a row. Jeez, right? (laughs) But they did such a dreadful job explaining it, and part of that may be because there's really few details. Very few. As to how this does, in fact, work. And then once that finally rubber does meet the road, the Saudis are like, yeah, we don't really want to do this. Or you really need to do that. Well, we have more board seats than you. Oh, okay. well, Well, there goes all our money. Yeah. Bye-bye tour. And then what about the players having to come back? What, are they going to have to sit out a year? They're really going to sit out a year. You're going to sit them out a year. Give all the money back they took from the Uh, Saudis originally? I don't think that's going to happen. What do you think? Somebody's going to give back 60, 70 million bucks like none of it's been spent? (laughs) <laughs> well, all of it's all of it's just sitting around. That's a why. What are you going to do? No, no, no. <laughs> there's no way. Like, there's no way they're going to ask for every cent back, like a clawback. Like why the government's going to well, seize a boat. Why wouldn't Jay Monahan you know? do that? Hey, you made us all look bad two years ago. You want back? Hundred million dollar check. <laughs> I'll stay at home. Yeah. <laughs> well, a hundred million. That's yeah, kind happen. of my career, more no. than my career earning. So I, I, I'm good. So Kevin I'll, will I'll play. Kevin will, Kevin will bring this. Well, there's <laughs> lots to talk about with him, man. Yeah. That I, I I hope I did a decent enough job explaining a six page document that doesn't have many details, but this is the construct of it. I thought you did, Rich. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> and I don't mean to say that to you. I, I just, I don't know. Well, I mean, it sounded very... <laughs> I didn't mean to... It, I, I'm not dismissing you. Well, I'm just dismissing... Like no, no, no. I'm, I pardon. I apologize. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I'm just dismissing the this whole storyline that a country with a gajillion dollars can create its own league, forcing another sports league in the United States to capitulate and join up. But if the sports league does in fact still control how they run their own business and the money coming in is somebody else's money, then that is business-wise what you call a coup. Now, if you then take a look at whose money it is, then the whole thing is just filthy and it just makes you just want to vomit. <laughs> and it's so it still stinks I in it. the end. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 